Hello and good day, welcome to our YouTube channel, God's Promises. And today's video will be a fast concise overview. Book of Leviticus, Chapter 7. Let's get started now. The chapter begins by outlining the procedures for the guilt offering and the peace offering. These offerings were intended to address specific sins or offenses and to restore fellowship between the individual and God, or between individuals within the community. The guilt offering was to be made in cases of unintentional sin or wrongdoing, while the peace offering was a voluntary offering of thanks or praise to God. Verses 11 to 38 then detail the various portions of the peace offering that were to be given to the priest, including the breast and the right thigh. These portions were to be waved before the Lord as a symbol of offering and consecration, and then given to the priest as a portion of their sustenance. This emphasizes the importance of community worship and fellowship, as well as the role of the priest as a mediator between God and the people. The chapter also provides instructions regarding the handling of the sacrifices, including the prohibition on eating fat or blood, and the requirement that the offering be consumed within a certain period of time. These regulations were intended to ensure the purity and sanctity of the offering, as well as to discourage any misuse or exploitation of the sacrifices. Overall, Leviticus 7 underscores the importance of worship and fellowship within the community of faith, as well as the role of the priest as a mediator and leader in the community. It emphasizes the need for repentance and restoration in the face of sin, and the importance of offering thanks and praise to God as a symbol of gratitude and faithfulness. As Christians, we can apply these teachings by recognizing the importance of worship and fellowship in our own lives. Just as the Israelites were called to bring their offerings and sacrifices to the tabernacle, we too can bring our prayers and praises to God in community worship and fellowship. We can also strive to maintain purity and sanctity in our offerings, whether through our words or our actions, and to cultivate a spirit of gratitude and thanksgiving in all our dealings. In addition, we can recognize the role of the priest as a mediator and leader within the community of faith, and seek to honor and support those who have been called to such a role. Ultimately, the teachings of Leviticus 7 remind us of our responsibility to live in relationship with God and with one another, and to offer ourselves as living sacrifices of worship and service to Him. Thank you for visiting us today. Please share with us your favorite Bible chapter, below in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe, it really does help our channel grow. Looking forward to see you back here for our next video. Always take good care.